Already a popular spot, the town 40 minutes north of Wellington is attracting more people in to walk the newly created escarpment track overlooking the coast. But there's just one problem, getting in and out. The intersection into the township is next to a busy railway line, opposite the treacherous Hill Road, and making a right-hand turn at any time is fondly referred to as running the gauntlet. Carpety Coast's Deputy Mayor Janet Holbro says it intimidates people. This is the only way to get in and out of Paikakariki. And that's a real issue for some of our residents who aren't so confident at driving maybe, some of our older residents. A lot of them, they keep a car just to drive around Paikakariki and won't leave. And a lot of visitors who aren't familiar with the intersection too are really nervous about coming and going. She thinks traffic lights would help. Well, NZTA have a concern that that would impact on travel times, cause congestion on State Highway 1, and we completely understand that. But is that worth risking people's lives and worth you know, risking serious injury to people? So it's about weighing up travel times and safety, really. And the focus should be on safety over travel times, is our view. Further up State Highway 1, Community Board member Holly Ewans points out another hotspot they want made safer. The bend is where traffic starts to speed up and is bordered by family homes. There's a lot of children who live in these houses who have to walk along here to this pedestrian walkway that crosses the railway line up and over to school. The residents here have been really concerned that they just don't feel like their children are safe and that their children can't walk to school. Ms Ewan says it's not up to local board members to come up with all the answers. They just know there's a problem. It was back in February, uh, uh, a car came off and took out um, a power pole here and it's just lucky that it hit the pole and it didn't hit a house. So I do know that this property here and the one further up um, built, tried to build quite chunky fences because they have had cars go through their fences. The Transport Agency's Wellington manager Mark Owens admits both pieces of road are complex and says while nothing is in the pipeline immediately, things will get better once Transmission Gully opens. We can start to look at what the potential improvements are given there will be a lot less traffic and won't need to travel at the same speed uh, because we won't have the efficiency issues that we have in terms of a highway corridor. It can be considered more of a local road and then we can adapt it to suit the needs of the community. He says once Transmission Gully opens, the road may be transferred to the local council, which could look at reducing the speed limit further. Ms Holbro and Ms Ewans say the community still has concerns that while the opening of Transmission Gully will no doubt decrease traffic, there's still months of right-hand turns to be made and dozens of days left walking to school. For Morning Report, Emma Hatton.